and your thoughts as we stand here talking. Um, first of all, I'm I'm very very happy for the people of Cobb County. Um, I think that we're we're finally we we gave them the opportunity to vote on representative government, and uh, I think they believed in our cause and that I was a candidate that meant what I said. So I'm delighted that they're once again going to get to get the kind of government that they are entitled to. Secondly, I'm really happy for my volunteers. You know, I've always said that a grassroots campaign is like the wind. You have to get outside to see to feel the wind. Well, you had to get outside to see what our campaign was all about. There are a lot of pundits that sat inside their offices and made comments about our campaign. I had no idea what they were talking about. The last two weeks, we had more people on the street that I just lost track of them. And that's what grassroots is all about. They had the cause. Uh, and in spite of all the elements and in spite of all the negative publicity from our candidate, they kept the faith and they went and knocked on doors and they brought out. They made this victory tonight. They're the ones that we, we, where we did so well. I was going to say, I got a lot of mailings at my house that put you in an unflattering position. Really? Plus, yeah. Right? yeah. Um, what message does your victory send to people who would take a campaign in that direction? Sure. Well, first of all, I've told people that on Sunday, I want to be able to walk down the center aisle to my church and be able to hold my head up among my community because I represent their values. All right? And I want to run a campaign that reflected that. I want to run a campaign that people talk about, that talks about a positive message, talks about the candidate, talks about what we're going to do. And um, people can vote on that kind of a message. So I realize it was a gamble doing that. But I cannot tell you, I believe in the American people. I believe in the American people, and I had no doubt in my mind that if we gave them that kind of message, they would respond, and they did. You said early on that this was all about the Brave Stadium, bringing it here and how it was brought sure. here. Sure. Um, as these results roll in, is that still what you think was the main thing on people's minds? The narrative has always been about, not about the Braves. I want to emphasize that it's never been about the Braves. They were a business, and they did what they have to do for their shareholders. The issue is about representative government and open and transparency. And this issue was never brought to the people in a way that reflected that. And I said that from day one in my op-eds to the paper. I've been saying it now for the last 18 months. And today was an affirmation of that by the people in Cobb County. And what do you want to say about your accountability now that you're apparently on the way in? Well, I think that now uh, I have to live up to that uh, commitment that I made to the uh, people in Cobb County. But, you know, I came from an institution that believed in integrity and trust, called the Marine Corps. I lived that every single day, and I don't see that's going to be a problem. I'm not saying that, you know, that uh, being a government official is an easy job. I've been in those positions. On your best day, only half the people are angry at you or happy with you. But I'm excited about uh, taking this challenge, and I'm ready for it. You know, whenever a new guy moves in, mm -hmm. no matter what kind of job it is, sure. those you, who Mike. work there are always apprehensive. What is your message to those in county government and those who supported Chairman Lee about what they can and should expect from you? Well, look, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I was a county, I mean, a government employee. I understand who they are. I, I spent 30 years in the U.S. government. I know exactly how they're thinking. They're, we have to remember that people who work in government, they want to do a good job for the people they, that they represent. So. I'm just going to be a lead leader of people, a chairman of people who want to do a good job for the people in this county. So they have nothing to worry about for me as long as they do that, as long as they carry that message to the people. Uh, the other part, though, is that the business community, I realize, has some concerns about me because uh, obviously I came from out of the pack. I came from the midst of the, popu of the populist. Uh, but I, I, my only message to them is we have to carry, we have to create jobs in this county. All right. We have to still carry forward that business agenda. But the point I want to make to them is that I was elected by the people. I was not elected by the vested interest of support of the chairman. I was elected by the people, and that's the new variable in this, in this form that has to go forward. That whenever they come to the table, now I have to remember that I represent the people in this county who, who voted for me. And that's the message I'm bringing to them. So how do we do this together in a way where everybody's votes is floated in this county, not just a few? Was this a pro-Mike Boyce vote, or was this an anti-Tim Lee vote? I don't know. I won. What, what difference does it matter? <laughs>